Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle, and here's five games and activities you can play with Times Table flashcards. In activity one, show just one of the flashcards to start, and then place a series of flashcards face down in a line. Turn over the next card in the series. Is the answer to the sum higher or lower? Have your child write down higher or lower and the answer to the sum of the card that was just turned over. Were they correct? Move on to the third card. Is it higher or lower than card number two? And what's the answer to the sum? Continue until all the cards have been turned over. Start activity two by shuffling the flashcards. Show the sum on a flashcard for a small amount of time, about a second, can your child answer the sum they saw in that split second? Shuffle the deck of flashcards and turn over the top card. Challenge your child to think of three different sums that have the same answer as the one on the card. Also, try and suggest using different operations in each answer. So 6 times 5 might equal 30, but so does 10 times 3. 40 take away 10, and 16 plus 14. These sums all equal 30. As an extra level of difficulty, try using multiple operations and bod mass to make a new sum. Shuffle the deck of flashcards once again and deal out the flashcards between two players. Each player plays the top card in their deck and solves the sum. Who had the greater number? The player with the biggest number collects both cards. Continue until the players use up all their cards. The player who won the most flashcards wins the game. For the last game, place a number of flashcards in different places around a room. Your child or children will need to stand next to the correct card based on a clue you give. The clue could be as simple as go to the sum that equals 36 or something trickier like go to the sum that's an even number bigger than 30. I hope you enjoy using these flashcards. Thank you for watching.